So again, uh, what if you wanted to use the comparable uh, interface? So again, we were just showing it as strings. Well, if you kind of take a look uh, here, just like anything, you would say your class, you would say what that class implements, or that class uh, extends, and what that class implements. In this case, uh, student is comparable to another student. I can take two students and say which one's better, basically. Uh, now, okay, you know, compare the GPA or whatever, who's got, you know, higher, whatever. Well, in this case, all I'm saying is whose ID is larger than the other ones. And again, I have to implement this because it's being inherited from comparable. And so I have to decide sort of how I get the negative one, zero, one. Uh, in this case, I say, well, if my student, if this guy, this is get ID is larger than this guy's ID. So if we're talking about this, this dot ID, we'll say, for example, equals uh, zero, well, we'll say it equals 10. And this guy's ID, S dot ID equals uh, 15. Does this ID, is this ID greater than 15? No, so I skip it, false. Is it less than? In our case, yes. 10 is less than 15, so I would return a negative one.